Our old fort. It didn't look like much, but this treehouse had once been Jenny and Keith's favourite hiding spot. I can never climb up there on my own. Keith always had to help me. They schemed and planned, and swore never to let anything come between them. Just thinking about him hurt. What was that? Stephen? Stephen? Stephen! What? Did you hear that? I'm telling you, man. Ah, not this again. Something's out here. Something big. Real big. Ah, there's nothing there. But I'm getting some super spooky vibes, man. Ah, for the last time, Kevin, the radio is for emergencies only. Oh, that was lucky. I need to be more careful. The house was swarming with police, but she knew this place like the back of her hand. If anyone could find a way in, it was Jenny LeClue. My room. And inside. My detective gear! The window looked like a promising point of entry. I could climb the tree up onto the roof. But as Jenny knew, all the windows on the second floor were bolted down. Dad did it after a raccoon got in and trashed the place. Jenny recalled the Christmas Eve when she had climbed down the chimney and discovered how difficult the jolly old man's job was. And dirty. There's definitely a cleaner way in. That's Mum's room. Her window is bolted down just like the others. Now I think about it. It's a real fire hazard. Yeah, no but ah. Out of the police's line of sight, the basement was her best entry point into the house. Except that window is locked, and all my lock picking gear is inside. The window was ajar, the frame damaged. Somebody broke into my house. That's my job! But who? The police had used the front door. Whoever it was, that's my way in. To get to the basement window, Jenny would have to creep carefully past the police officer. One false move and the game would be up. Hey! Who goes there? Caught. Jenny would have to think fast or risk being jailed like her mother. Here goes nothing. Uh. Uh, st Stephen, please tell me you're there. Uh, what's up, buddy? I, I think you should know. I, I say this with 100% certainty. Th there's a... Uh, spit it out already. There's a mountain lion out here! Oh, very likely. They're indigenous to this area. What?! Just don't let it eat you. I don't need any more paperwork. Oh god! I, I think I'll just head inside for a minute to uh, check something. Whew, that was close. I did badly at this, but I, I did it. I won. So that's nice. I wonder if there is a way to actually like game over, like if he catches me. I guess not, because I presume if I said, oh, there's a ghost, he'd be like, oh my god, there's a ghost! And so you're crazy. Someone definitely falls this open. Would Jenny enter the dark basement? Yes. Yes, she would. It was an odd feeling, breaking into her own house. But as she squeezed through the basement window, Jenny felt a rush of excitement. I could get used to this, she thought. Jenny was in. Undetected. Home sweet home. Sort of. 
What the heck? What left this here? Jenny's father had never carried a briefcase, and her mother couldn't afford one. Let's see who this belongs to. Fingerprints. One one. From Infinity Train. One one three four. I'm in. <laughs> Huh. Were they some of the animals in the transmitter? Who carries around a fancy briefcase with a children's book inside? The hawk and the weasel? Hang on a second. Jenny recognised the book. She'd seen a copy of it next to the Dean's life. Oh yeah, there was! In the library! There must be something significant about it. Interesting. Yeah, there was. It was next to the team, but also, yeah, I wonder if Hawk and Weasel were, um, were like rabbit and bear. Yeah, there were. These were definitely. These were definitely some of the uh, the, um, some of the animals being called out. This feels familiar. Like I've seen it before. Wait, no, I've heard it before, on the radio in the underground lab. Could there be a connection between the cryptic radio message and this book? Let's find out. Rabbit 49, Bear 78, Rat... We... Flippin' hell, that's a lot of stuff. Nineteen. Thirty-two, interesting. Fifty-seven. Was fifty-seven one? No, it wasn't. Ninety-nine wasn't. Interesting. Oh. Oh, I see. It's how many num the the amount of numbers to get to that. Right. That's the 19th letter, that's the 21st. 20, 21, 20, or maybe not, because that should be 23 by that account. Maybe that's not what it is then. Weasel 23. Interesting. Interesting. I don't think I completely understand, but I've gone to every, gone to every single one. Oh, but I can go to different pages. That makes sense then. Oh! This paragraph contains weasel, 23rd word in the weasel. Right. Right, 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 right. Interesting. Oh my god, what is this? What is this? This is crazy. Well, we're getting there. What well, whale is going to be here? Somewhere. 36. One of these words has to be it. I would imagine. He says, <laughs> not able to find it. I mean, it's gotta be, it's the boy and the whale. Come on. Find that word. There it is. Soon they will all listen, relive their rancid past. The 
message re read like a threat. But from who? Could it be a message from the Dean's killer? I don't know. Let me get this straight. Someone broadcasting a sinister message in code, which is being picked up on a radio in an abandoned laboratory hidden in the forest. And the secret to decode this message is written in a children's book, which was locked inside a stranger's briefcase in my basement? All of this was true. That doesn't make it any less crazy sounding. But not all mysteries could be solved in an instant. Sometimes questions had to uh, percolate. Is that how that word said? I've never heard it. Like a good cup of coffee. Only then would the answers become clear. I guess I'll let it brew for a bit. But right now, I need to get to my room and find my detective gear. Interesting. Oh, crap! Hey! What are you doing? Is it... Uh, nothing, just looking for more beer. Make yourselves at home, why don't you? Ah, forget about it, there's more in the back of the fridge. I better not eat my cookies. Uh, jackpot, they've got cookies too. Hey, have we searched down here yet? You lose one game of cards and suddenly you want to search the house? Can't handle the pressure, eh? Those, sir, are fighting words. You want to put your money where your mouth is? Afton's finest, everyone. There was no way Jenny could reach her bedroom without being caught by the police. Which means I can't get my detective gear. Great. But this was a basement. A, verit a veritable treasure trove of old possessions. Surely something around here would prove useful. Maybe. I can't see a thing. Let's shed some light on the situation. It sounds like a bad plan, but okay, let's do it. Of course, the fuse is missing for the light. I can find one. Oh. What is this? Uh, it doesn't matter, because I can't reach it. So... Jenny wasn't prone to sentimentality, but seeing her father's desk, the disorganised muddle of books, photos, and the faint scent of ammonia, all, remind, all reminders that her dad was here, was here not so long ago. Miss you, Dad. Mending the molecular bonds of marriage. Mum and Dad b both worked an awful lot. Jenny rarely saw the two of them together. Oh, really? A Field Guide to Fascinating Flora Written by Weiss, Fiel Felding and Strasbury? Did the Dean write this book? Interesting Ink pots Blood vial This one test tube looks recently used the others are all covered in dust. A small puddle of liquid had pooled onto the desk. Looks fresh. Still sticky. Interesting. But why? Results of restorative transducive coupling experiment phase 7. Possible changes after initial phase cycling and post dynamic quantum tunneling has transpired. Observed changes in the higher dimensional planes had led to a regression in phase modulation of radio frequency spectra. Band pass filtering had produced no differentiated results, and advanced holography has not shown any positive change either. Further study is required to identify narrow beam secure spectrums from which to transmit future communicate. What? Like, <laughs> what does all of this mean? This was years ago. I looked like a kid. One of the rare times that Dad wasn't making a goofy face. He used to say serious people make serious mistakes. Hmm. I might, uh, need this later. Hmm. It's the 
pencil and whatever that is. Some shushan. And this is from the day of Dad's accident. I must have kept it. Experiment in the chemistry labs went wrong. An accident caused a destructive explosion, killing one scientist and injuring several others. The area was immediately called an off and no one allowed in due to the potentially deadly chemicals involved. While the investigation is still ongoing, the police have identified Henry Leclue as the scientist killed in the explosion. Right. Dean Strasbury, head of school and close friend of Leclue's, gave a statement on campus. What a tragic and unpreventable accident. Henry was working with dangerous chemicals and it looks like he made a grave error. He was under a lot of stress. People make mistakes. We've lost a great friend and neighbour today. Interesting. Zing called the lab ex explosion an accident, but everyone in town seemed to blame Dad. Interesting. Away with ya. A crit inspections report. I've never seen this before. So, let's have a look-see. May 14th. Uh, an anonymous source filed a complaint with the university regarding the lack of proper ventilation in labs. The equipment we have is old and frankly dangerous. It's only a matter of time before someone gets hurt. Inspections of facilities revealed a dangerous, unsafe work environment. Interesting. Let's see if we can fill this out. This contradicts a newspaper article which stated my dad made a mistake. Everyone in town blamed him for the accident. But they were all wrong. The lab was unsafe. He shouldn't have been working there. October 5th. That was one week before her father's accident. Hmm. <clears throat> the Dean Sun report. Someone had circled the signature in red pen. He must have known that the lab was unsafe, but still let my dad work there? Any rational mind could see it. Strong evidence linking her mum to the Dean's death. This doesn't prove anything, but it was a clear motive for murder. Revenge. My mum wouldn't do that, but who else would see it that way? There must be an explanation. I just... I don't know what it is yet. I'm not taking it. Jenny did the right thing and left everything as she found it. Her mother would be proud. But would she be grateful? Mum's innocent, so she has nothing to hide. But how would it look if the police found this evidence? I'll just have to solve this case before they do. It was hard to do. Volume 2. Ah, um, there's a fuse. Aha, the missing fuse. And then there's this, which I can't take. Anything else I can see in here? Seemingly not. Okie dokie. Alright then. Well then. So it is possible to her mum. And then there was light. Jenny would need to work quickly to remain undetected. Who knows when they'll come back. Now, where's the most likely place to find a, ma a makeshift detective kit? I don't know, but there's something in here. A shaft of light peeked through the boxes. There's more stuff back here. We just need a way through. Uh, yeah, this is going to be without... Uh, oh, it didn't fall. Okay, honestly, I thought it was going to fall. You can see why I would think that. This is a secret entrance. Interesting. Jenny's instincts had been correct. Dozens of boxes lined the back wall of the basement. There's probably something useful in here, but it'll take forever to search for all of them. Oh my god, there's so many. <laughs> Kitchen, garden, books, clothes, crime scene investigation, CSI supplies, hm, that must be mum's old gear.
I found jam. <laughs> yes. Cool. It's not as good as mine, but at least it works. Sort of. Yeah, more or less. Ah, my key to the city. Another set of lockpicks. Tucked away at the bottom of the box. Something colourful caught Jenny's eye. She pulled it carefully from the container and, un and unfolded it. This must be Mum's old jacket. It smelled of formaldehyde and fingerprint powder. From my CSI days. And so she tried it on. Jenny LeClue Detective Fits like a glove. A giant oversized glove. And it smells like mum. Her mother had never felt so close, and yet so far away. I won't let them take you away from me too. She looks good in that outfit, it's cool. Jenny's search was complete. It's not the world's best detective kit, but it'll do. For the first time in her life, she felt like a real detective. She had a serious crime to solve. And a seriously sharp outfit to match. Oh no. Somebody else is here. Ah, oh, it's bad. Oh no? doing in my house. I should follow him. Uh, actually, before we do that, I want to get this thing, and this is the way I do it. It won't waste time, not really. So. Thank you. We're not expecting the desk. We do not have the time. So. Theory time. Her dad? Was Jenny ready to follow this mysterious man in black? Yeah, I think so. 